Hello everyone, this is our 2017 Ford Focus RS with 97,535 miles. Beautiful light blue color, so much metallic flake in this paint, like it's really unreal. Uh, it's super sparkly, definitely a very unique color. I think it looks awesome on this car. Uh, despite this car having 97,000 miles, it really does not look like it whatsoever. I'm not just saying that to sell you guys a car. Like really, there's no rock chips on the front anywhere. That is insane that there's a car with 97,000 miles and no rock chips. Like you guys are seeing the same thing that I'm seeing here. There's no movie magic. There's just a few incredibly minor marks on the uh, center support here in the bumper, but it's almost impossible to tell unless you get your face right on it. Nothing on the hood. Headlights are still perfectly clear. No chips on the headlights. Um, I mean, this car is just insanely clean. Front driver's side fender looks great. Looks like it's been lowered a bit. Front driver's side wheel looks really nice. Oh, it does have a little bit of rash there. I do apologize, just very small amount. Uh, paint matched Brembo's. Looks great, stops great. A little bit of PPF on the side mirrors here. Mirror looks excellent, no marks. Front driver's side door. Really clean, no flaws, no issues there. Rear driver's side door. Again, no flaws, no issues. Driver's side rear quarter panel. No marks there either. Rear driver's side wheel. No scuffs, rash, rash, chips, or anything like that. Moving on to the back here, looking at the bumper itself. I'm not seeing any marks in the bumper, no scratches, no scuffs, or anything like that. It does have a really aggressive rear diffuser. I love that. That is a factory piece as well. Dual exit exhaust. Has some Rally Armor mud flaps on there that nice rally aesthetic. It does have paint protection foam just here on the opening of the hatch, which is a fantastic idea because that is typically a very high wear area on uh, hatchbacks and wagons. Just from loading and unloading cargo, it's very easy to clip the bumper, rub something against it, etc., and get scuffs and scratches, but there are none to be found here. The uh, entryway for the hatch looks extremely clean, no issues. Back end of the car looks awesome, not seeing any marks whatsoever. Moving on to the passenger side, looking at the rear quarter panel here, looks excellent. And something else I forgot to mention as well, um, despite having the uh, mud flaps here, the rock guards, we also have paint protection film, a little strip of it that runs down here along the side of the back bumper uh, to help with rock chips on the side. And there are none, I mean, it's still in really good shape. The uh, rear passenger wheel looks pretty good overall. It does have a little bit of cosmetic wear just around the lip of the wheel, um, but it's just that it's only minor cosmetic wear. It's not, uh, it doesn't leak air. You know, it's not unbalanced or anything like that. Just small cosmetic flaw in the wheel. Rear passenger door, super clean, no flaws. Front passenger door, again, no defects. Looks fantastic. Passenger mirror. Again, I'm just absolutely amazed. There's no flaws in the mirror whatsoever. Front passenger fender. Looks excellent, no issues. And the front passenger wheel. Again, looks incredible. No marks, no issues. This car has been taken really, really good care of. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us, sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you were to own the vehicle yourself and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, giving you a better, well rounded perspective of the overall condition of the car. And this car is just, it's unbelievable that it has the mileage that it does because. It looks like it has 15, maybe 20,000 miles on it. This car has been taken very good care of throughout its life. And the interior kind of speaks to the, uh, the same truth here. Uh, mostly hard plastic on the door panel, but it does have uh, leather armrest right here. 
Very nice blue contrast stitching to kind of go with the exterior theme. Power locks, power mirrors, one touch, driver and passenger windows for the front. Power adjustable seats, they are heated as well. We have a, a smoother leather on the outside on the bolster and then kind of a, a micro suede insert for the center section. RS embroidered, they are Recaros as well. Power adjustable heated Recaros are definitely the move for sports cars in my opinion. I love them. Uh, Twilight sensing headlights there. Six speed manual with a color matched shift knob. Love the details. Push button start. And here on the gauge cluster, other than being a little light on fuel, we are good to go. There's no fault lights, no warnings, nothing like that. Everything is good to go. We've got nav, we've got Bluetooth. It does have 10 speaker premium Sony audio, USB plug-in, 12 volt power. We've got traction control, auto start stop disable, different driving modes, and yes, a heated steering wheel. Not something that every uh, Ford vehicle will provide you with, pretty rare. Uh, occasion in my experience. We've got some extra gauges up here. It looks like oil temp, um, boost pressure, and oil pressure. Cruise control here, gauge cluster menu options, and Bluetooth and media options here. Passenger door panel looks great. Front passenger seat looks really good. The bolsters have not been worn out. Uh, the seat looks like it's in great shape. We also have WeatherTech all-weather floor mats. WeatherTech is definitely the way to go. The dash is in really good shape. No flaws there. No uh, you know, UV damage or anything like that. Dash isn't cracked. Does have a sunroof as well. The back seats are also in phenomenal shape. No issues in the back at all. Looks really good. So let's have a look under the hood here. And the biggest issue with this car here is the fact that it has an actual hood prop and not hydraulic struts. Come on, Ford, do better. Uh, so here's the 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost engine. Front wheel drive orientation paired with a six speed manual transmission. Idles incredibly smooth. Really, really quiet on the inside. The exhaust sounds awesome. Uh, it's like just enough when you get into it, but it's not overbearing. It's not obnoxious. It's not raspy. It's a really nice, clean sound. And with a small displacement four cylinder, that's not exactly the easiest thing to achieve. So I can definitely appreciate that coming from this car, that it's still um, relatively understated and it's not overbearing or annoying to listen to. Um, it definitely improves the driving experience. But yeah, it runs and drives great, makes a healthy amount of torque. Um, the steering on this car is very responsive. It's very tight. And this car handles incredibly well. Ford definitely nailed it with the uh, enthusiast hot, hat mar hot hatch market with this car. It is an absolute blast to drive. I don't care who you are or what you're into. This car is so much fun. Um, I personally don't typically prefer front wheel drive cars, but you definitely forget about that when you're driving this. And it's just, it's honestly such a good time. It handles incredibly well. And um, of course having the, the turbocharger there definitely uh, adds to the fun factor quite a bit. And I do apologize, this is actually all wheel drive, I knew that. So that's probably why it's easy to forget that it's front wheel drive is because it's really all wheel drive. <laughs> I apologize. So that is our 2017 Ford Focus RS. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.